Well, welcome to the first griddle cook for the channel of 2022. Uh, it is Saturday night and my daughter requested this meal. This is one of those meals that is very easy to do um, and it's kind of a novelty thing uh, because of how it gets served and uh, you'll see that as we go along. But um, let's not waste any time, let's get to it and uh, here's what we're going to involve for our ingredients. So we started with two whole pineapples. My wife was gracious enough to take the time to hollow those out for me. And then we took those pineapple chunks that we got out of the uh, pineapples and set them aside. We've got some minced garlic, we've got yellow onions, we've got butter, uh, some frozen peas and carrots. We like the Blackstone Sweet Teriyaki Seasoning and Teriyaki Sauce. We've got some diced chicken breast. And then what makes this easier than, than some people like to admit is using the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is get the chicken down on the griddle. I've got the griddle on low heat uh, because as I've mentioned in many videos before with the wind guards on the griddle, I feel like the low setting gets it plenty hot enough uh, for anything I want to do other than when I need to sear a steak or something like that. So we're going to start on low. We're going to put a little bit of sesame oil down on the griddle and we're going to get that chicken going and uh, we'll go from there. One seasoning that we really like when we do the uh, stir fries or the uh, hibachi night um, is the sweet teriyaki seasoning from Blackstone. Um, it's got a good flavor. Um, and with this particular meal, it's not nearly as much about uh, hibachi like with soy sauce and those kind of things. This is really more of a teriyaki stir fry. Um, so we're gonna season this chicken with this sweet teriyaki dry seasoning. So just to help this chicken along a bit, we're going to use this uh, smaller or medium sized basting cover and uh, that's just going to help, help speed things up with that chicken. Alright, I feel like our chicken is uh, well underway now, cooking under that lid, and uh, so now it's time to get our rice going. So this is the ever-growing in popularity fried rice stir-fry trick um, that I've been using for quite some time, but it's so much easier than cooking rice ahead of time and going through all that nonsense. I've talked about that in other videos. Uh, but you basically, this stuff is already cooked, so you can just open it right up and toss it right down on the griddle. So again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of sesame oil. Um, and we're gonna spread that out. Don't want too much of it. I'm gonna put some butter as well. And then this Uncle Ben's ready rice goes right down on the griddle top. No need to microwave it. No need to pre-cook it, it's already cooked. And you're good to go. Alright, so we've got four packs of Uncle Ben's ready rice. Make sure everything's broken up from that package. And uh, we're just gonna load this rice up with some butter. Always garlic. I'm gonna add just a few of these toasted sesame seeds. Not many, just a few. A little bit. All right. And we're ready to stir this up. So you'd be hard pressed to find many meals that I don't think might be a little bit improved with some diced onions. So I'm going to add a little bit of diced onions to this rice.
So I believe now the chicken is done and cooked all the way through. So I'm going to turn that side of the griddle off and we're just going to let it sit there and stay warm while we keep working on the, uh, the rest of the uh, stir fry. So at this point, I've got some peas and carrots uh, that we're going to add to the rice. So I know there's usually some people that will say, you didn't season uh, everything, you didn't put any salt, you didn't put any pepper. Um, here's the deal, when you're using all these other flavors, you don't need that. You know the second listed ingredient on this sweet teriyaki so uh, seasoning is salt. Okay, it's got plenty of salt. The uh, first ingredient of teriyaki sauce is soy sauce, which we all know is loaded with salt. So there's really no need to uh, overdo the salt on the chicken before I, you know, or as I started cooking it or adding any salt to the to the rice. There's plenty of salt in both of these things and um, I think it's going to be just fine. So the rice is coming along uh, perfectly and so now I'm going to move this chicken over and we're gonna, just going to mix it all up with the rice and let it uh, combine flavors and uh, keep cooking that way. All right, now that we've got the chicken mixed in with our semi-fried rice, uh, we're gonna add in all that pineapple that we took out of those whole pineapples uh, after we cut them in half. So we're gonna add this pineapple in and have this a chicken pineapple teriyaki stir fry. So the only thing left really to add to our chicken pineapple stir fry is our teriyaki sauce. I'm not real picky about teriyaki sauce. Um, most of it's pretty good. Uh, if you have one that you like more over others, then go with that. But this is what we're going with. So I'm just going to put a liberal amount of teriyaki sauce in with our stir fry. All right, we're gonna let that stir fry keep doing its thing. I'm gonna give the other side of the griddle a quick clean um, because the next step is where the fun comes in and kind of the novelty aspect of this meal. So hang tight while I do a little bit of house cleaning. Now this last step, admittedly, <laughs> does not do a whole lot to add to the flavor of the meal or how it tastes um, not really uh, much of it even edible but it does add to the fun of it and I think this is why my daughter enjoys this meal um, and we are going to put these pineapples that we've hollowed out down on the griddle and that's going to be the bowl that we serve the stir fry in so the first thing we're going to do we're going to turn it on low and I'm just going to put some butter down on the griddle surface. So one thing that I do on this step that I haven't really seen a lot of other people do is, I put the butter down on the griddle obviously, but I'm also gonna put some of this sweet teriyaki seasoning directly down on the griddle surface so that when I put the pineapples on it, um, they'll, they'll get some of that flavor too. Now we're just going to take these hollowed out pineapples, 
put them right down on the surface. So while this meal's finishing up, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Um, you know, I just have a lot of fun with it. Um, <laughs> I have no aspirations of ever uh, making much money off a YouTube channel or anything like that. I, you know, I don't have $4,000 video cameras. I have my cell phone and an old Sony camcorder that my daughter got for Christmas years ago. Uh, so I just have fun with it. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you watching. And uh, maybe you try some of these meals because we love them. So here comes the fun part. It's time to fill these pineapples with our stir fry. So how about that? for a novelty stir-fry idea. Chicken and pineapple teriyaki stir-fry served in a pineapple. Here we go. Always the uh, moment of truth. Time to give this thing a shot. Try to get a little bit of chicken, a little bit of pineapple, all mixed together. I think my daughter's gonna be happy with this one since this was her request. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video and I appreciate you watching.